In this video, we'll be using one of our integral formulas. This will require separating a sum, and you'll see that in just a moment. Um, if you've not already done so, copy these formulas into your notes. The problem that we'll be working with is to evaluate the integral of 4x plus 3 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now our first thing to do is decide which formula we want to use. And it looks like we have a radical 1 minus x squared in the denominator. So the first formula is the formula that we'll be needing. Now the thing that we want to notice is that in the numerator of this formula, all I have is a du. We have to separate this sum into two separate integrals so that I can use this formula. Um, let's do that first. I'll have just 4x in my first one in the numerator. So I have 4x divided by the radical 1 minus x squared dx. And then plus, and then my second integral, I have a 3 in the numerator. And then square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now on this one, I can use the formula. In this one, uh, let's do some u substitution. I have um, this radicand. So u is equal to 1 minus x squared. So du is equal to a negative 2x dx. So I have an x dx here. Let me go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. So this is a negative 1 half du is equal to x dx. Draw a separator here because these two are two separate problems. Um, let me um, substitute in now. This 4 I'm going to bring out in front of the integral. And then in place of x dx, I'll put negative 1 half du. And then in the bottom, I have the square root of u. So now um, this uh, negative 1 half can be brought out in front. That'll give me a negative 2 times the integral of, and I'm going to write this as u to the negative 1 half. du. So when I integrate this, uh, copying here, I have uh, increased the exponent by 1 and divide by the new exponent. So my new exponent will be a positive 1 half. And when I divide by a positive 1 half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. So u to the positive 1 half. And I'll save my plus a constant here just a little bit. I do have plus from here. Now for this second part of this, um, the integral, uh, this 3 can be brought out in front. And then uh, u is just x. So this will be uh, arc sine And then x over and 1 is my a value plus a constant. So I'm going to write that so I don't forget it. So this is 3 arc sine x plus a constant. And my only other thing that I need to do is sub back in for u and do this multiplication. So I have a negative 4, and then u is 1 minus x squared. So 
So this is square root of 1 minus x squared plus 3 arc sine x plus constant.